Thomas had to stay in the siding for the rest of the day. His fire went out and he grew colder and colder. The rain fell more heavily and what had begun as a splendid day began to turn into a disaster. I wish I was in my nice warm shed, he said to himself miserably. At last the inspector returned. Cheer up, Thomas, he said. You'll be at the museum tomorrow, and they have promised to mend your front end in their workshop. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. But if I can't run on rails, how can I get there? It's all fixed, replied the inspector cheerfully. A lorry is coming for you in the morning. Thomas was horrified. A l lorry, he stammered. That's right, said the inspector. It'll be here at eight o'clock sharp. Thomas slept badly that night. He kept wondering what Gordon, Henry and James would say if they knew he had finished his journey on a lorry. Next morning, the driver and fireman came early. A diesel shunter came to push Thomas out of his siding and along towards the road where they found the lorry waiting. A steel cable was fastened to his coupling. The lorry driver started a winch, and in no time at all, it seemed, Thomas was perched on the lorry. How undignified, he thought. But he found, as they went along, that he had a marvellous view of the countryside, and time to enjoy it, too. But Thomas soon began to feel bored. At last, houses began to appear on either side of the road. Perhaps this is York, thought Thomas hopefully. It was, but the driver was unsure of his way. He parked the lorry and went to find a telephone. A man wearing a flat-topped cap came up to Thomas. Hello, said Thomas. Hm, said the man. He wrote something in his notebook and went round to the front of the lorry. When the lorry driver came back, Thomas heard him say something, then slam the cab door crossly. Soon they reached a large building with rails running into it. Thomas was unloaded and the lorry drove away. Thomas looked about him. He had arrived. When his driver and fireman came, Thomas told them about the man with the flat cap. They laughed loudly. How do you do it, Thomas? spluttered the driver when he could speak. <laughs> that will make the fat controller's day. Thomas booked for parking. <laughs>